G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is about the Helicontex Mini Med Kit. I've had the mini med kit now for over two years. I've used it on a number of my packs and I'm about to use it on my, uh, what is it, the Helicontex EDC backpack, which I'm turning into my get home bag, which is just here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, it's, let's find out. The weight of it, 101 grams. Dimensions, 13.5 centimeters by 11 centimeters by four centimeters and it's 100% nylon and it comes in black, coyote brown and shadow gray and it's molly attachable so you can attach it to all your tactical backpacks as long as we have molly pals webbing on. We'll look at the outside first and I'll tell you a little bit about it, how it's weathering after over two years I mean, numerous hundreds, probably closer to a thousand kilometers bush walking, going through the bush, swapping it on and off packs. So I think two years is pretty good. First thing you see is a panel on the front with the medic sign on it, and that's a reflective one. And we've got the hook and loop, your Velcro, so you can attach something like that. My blood group, A positive. So that's come on and off. So I'll leave it on there now. At the top, you've got a lanyard point, which feels like a paracord with the, it feels like the ins yeah, with the inside taken out and just flattened off. So you can put your lanyard through there and just wear it. On the bottom, we're having another piece of webbing. That's just mainly so you can hold all, uh, get hold of it and quickly open it up. Or you can add a carabiner and a gel, um, anything to that. Zips are YKK zippers. And these have got the weather guard on it, the dust guard. Have a look. So it's going to prevent the dirt getting in there and reduce the chance of water getting in. Now, between the zip points, you do have a gap. There's not a lot to do about that, apart from put that down the bottom, out the way, and then the water's going to run down and just drip off. The pulleys on the zips are paracord, and they've got some shrink wrap on, so they make it really good, easy to grab hold of, even with gloves on. On the back, we've got the double molly. So we've got two sets of molly webbing and two molly straps. Now this is a point, the weak point. Because it's only a lightweight material, it's just a, it's, it's a thick nylon, but it's not like your 500D Cordura sort of stuff. Where they actually stitched the webbing on, the molly, just on the corners here, the constant pulling and pushing them on and off, it is starting to pull the nylon apart. I don't know if you can see it on that. But it's still holding up really well. It's probably sitting in the middle one more there. A lot of strength, a lot of stitching up here, that's not going to go far, that's going to still sit on the back of your pack nice and easy or on the front of the pack wherever you put it. These webbing bits, your straps, I like these ones now, they're better than the pestered ones, that's my personal opinion, because they've got it folded over once and it comes back on itself in the middle and they've got plastic strip going down the inside too which stiffens it so you can bend it to get it up and inside the actual webbing here 
it's once that's in there and fitted that is not going to come off and that's probably why we've got the uh, nylon beginning to tear on the corners because that's just been pulling on there and that hasn't come off the pack which is a good thing I don't mind it ripping as long as I keep everything that I need inside for an emergency for example or a blister anything simple now we've got obviously we've got double pull double zip and it opens up like a clamshell it gives you easy access to everything you need top pocket is a mesh again with YKK zippers no shrink wrap, just a power cord, give you easier uh, grip on it. And the bottom one is also the same. And what I do like is they've had the zip so they go the same way. Zip does it up, does it up, pull it down to undo, pull it down to undo. Now, the size wise, what can you get in here? I've been able to get three compression bandages in here my snake bite kit and I've also squeezed in a triangular bandage into this small pack so I normally carry one as my snake bite kit and my second which is my basic first aid kit now as you can see we'll come up to the pack and I'll show you what I've done to it so here's my pack the EDC backpack from Helicon Tex and in previous video, I showed you the Helicon Tex water canteen pouches, and I fitted one on either side. And I've got my basic mini med kit there for my basic first aid kit. And I'm going to be fitting the second one here, the snake bite kit. So no matter what happens, I've got access to my first aid on the outside, and it's not wasting space on the inside of the pack. And we do have compression straps here. So if the pack's not full, I can tighten that up and I'll pull the pack in and stop any actual weight pulling me backwards. It will just hold it against my body. So now I'm going to fit the second one on here and show you what it looks like. Now I'm coming through these two on the outside and what that does is it will leave me space down the middle and also allow them to fit without squashing them into each other. So we put the top ones through, one, two, and then we'll go through the first bit of webbing here. The same with this one. So let's come through the first one here and then we're gonna pass them through the uh, second row on the pack. Bring it up in between the uh, the second row because that's a double one of webbing, so it's one on top of the other. And this is the the difficult bit, squeezing it in there. That's it. I'm going to straighten the back, add it pushing into the middle. Let's do the same with this one up between the two, like that one. Uh, it is difficult and awkward, this is one is with the pouch being so small, but tolerance and patience and you get there. So there it is. Bit of a pain, but it got on there. So there's your Helicon Tex mini med kits. They sit really nice on the back of that, and obviously you've got space between, 
So if that's filled out more, that's going to give you room for them to expand. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And now you can see how you can use the little mini med kits as part of your guest home bag. And this is the Helicon Sex EDC backpack. And if you have enjoyed it and you're not a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Then click on the notification bell next to it and select all. So you get notifications of all future videos coming up. And hit the like button, a thumbs up. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.